How's it gaming guys? I'm Phil in the Blanks and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man The Sequel Wars Episode Red. And as you can see, we defeated the left side, we defeated the right side. Now time to defeat Dive Man and Drill Man, and then go after Dr. Cossack, even though we know already that he's not the villain, because we've already played this game before, at least I have, on the channel, and you should have watched it. Tisk 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 if you didn't. Alright, Dive Man. Very cool. I think it's Dive Man, but oh that's a really neat version of that. Um I th Ooh, hello. I think it's Dive Man, but they on on um <laughs> on Smash Brothers Ultimate, in Smash Brothers Ultimate, there is a remix version of the song, and it's I think it's actually not just Dive Man, I think it's a Mega Man 4 medley that starts with, with Dive Man, maybe. Uh by Jun Suno Sunoe? I think that's his name. He's the guy who does like the butt rock for, for the Sonic games. And his, I love his music. Uh he has a band called Crush 40, and it's so good. Like, it's so cheesy, but hearing Mega Man music done by him, and I'm assuming his band, is so good that I need a full Mega Man album or game with that music. It's just pure rock electric guitar. It's so good. Um, it's fantastic. If you haven't heard the song in, in, in Smash Bros. Ultimate, I highly recommend you do so. It's just fantastic. There's... A little thing, I want to see if they've changed something. There's a weird, um, like, no fault of the player's cheap death in this level, in the original NES version. I want to see if they kept that uh, in this. And it is, because you can jump so high underwater, if you jump super high uh, during one of the screen transitions, you'll you'll transition into the spikes. And I want to see if they kept that. Or, or if they fixed it to, like, you know, not punish the player when they didn't know that was going to happen. I don't know. I'll take a death. I don't care. I've got plenty of lives. Plus, we also want to get the um, wire ability, because we definitely want to do the wire glitch from the original game. Okay, here's the boss again. Very cool. I love how he just he dives down. I didn't really notice that, but the whale's also kind of shaped like a torpedo, in my opinion. It's kind of cool. I don't know. It's probably not supposed to be like that, but I, that's how I kind of see it. Okay, is it right here? Okay, not there. Right, was we going to go down? I forget where the... Oh, jeez. Okay. We are good now. Yeah! The Wire. Not the show The Wire, which I've never watched and know nothing about, but the power up The Wire. You got The Wire Redemptor. It's pretty much useless because you already have balloons and you also have Rush Jet. And you also have Rush Coil. Hold up, press the fire button while uh, stationary. The wire will hook up the ceiling and bring you upwards. There is no reason this ability even... I don't know why they have it. It doesn't have the fat neck anymore. The fat, like, chin. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, th it's the stupidest power in Mega Man history. Like, even the Mega Ball has more uses. The, the... I don't know. I don't dislike the balloon. The balloon acts like item one for Mega Man 2. But the wire? It's like, what's the point? You have Rush Coil. But whatever, I mean... Obviously fans would be like, Why didn't you keep the, the wire? It's an original game. Okay, it's definitely not there. Take out the whale! It's not Fatty Whale from Kirby Superstar, but... I don't know, it's pretty great. Pretty great. It is weird that I've played two games back-to-back -back that have whales as bosses, though. Whoa! Whoa! They changed that. Holy crap. Those are really big. Do you not explode anymore when I'm close to you? It's weird. I thought those eyes... Alright, whatever. Maybe these things don't kill you one hit either. I'm not testing that out. Alright, right here. Yep, they didn't... They Normally, I think it's right here. There's always um, uh, spikes that'll kill you in one hit. So I'm glad they did change that. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Get away from me. All right, let's get uh, Skull Barrier. Um, Dive Man is one of those, I, I've watched the AI, like there's a YouTube video, I don't know if it's by these this team, but they did like a deep dive on the AI of the Mega Man 4 bosses, and it's really neat. And now I understand Dive Man, I forget what it's like, but I love how you can dissect them like that and control them as much as you want. Okay, come at me, nope, yeah, there you go. Yep, still gonna die. Yep, that was... Man, that takes a lot off me. You also get, gotta get close to the Skull Barrier. I mean, I can use the Dust Crusher. I think he's equally weak to that, but... Whatever. 
I like to make things hard on myself. It's it's the fill in me. All right, here's your big opening. There you go. Good for you, dive man. Try you don't throw up. Come at me. Okay. And I stood there and took that. Jeez. Oh my God, Phil. Phil. <laughs> Oh, but to say, whoever gets this next Oh, that was a really good sprite. See you, Dive Man. You, you bring me troubles. That was my last skull barrier, too. Yay. Horming. Oh, horming. Uh, dive Torpedo? Homing Torpedo? I don't remember. If it's Homing Torpedo, I think it's the exact same name as the Homing Torpedo from uh, Mega Man X. I think they just share the name. You got... No, Dive Missile. Wow, I was really off there. All right, cool. Shoot a missile that homes in a nearby enemy. Ooh, obviously. Ooh, that's fast. Whoa! That's, I must say, this is a much better, uh, homing, holy crap. That's really, really good. That's an improvement, man. All right. Save yes. We just got Drill Man. It's always Drill Man left. Whoop, we're back here now. Sorry about that. Continue. And Drill Man. Drill Man is the one I seem to always forget when I'm, like, thinking of the Mega Man 4 bosses. I don't know. He's just, like, bad Crash Man. <laughs> he looks like Crash Man if you joined uh, Devo with that hat and stuff. I don't know. That background looks neat, though. Excuse me. Very cool. There's some screen tearing there. I don't know if that's the emulator or not, though. Obviously, I'm not playing this on a regular Sega Genesis. <laughs> You can! If you put this on a flash card, this will play on a Sega Genesis, which is really, really neat. Oh, damn you, Phil. Oh, great music. I've been listening to a lot of Mega Man music at work lately. So, I listen to a lot of stuff at work, because, like, I got a lot of time just listening to music and podcasts and stuff. And, um... I, I was like, I don't want to listen to my relaxing music. I want to listen to some other things for a while. And, uh, I'm not even going for that. That's one up. And uh, so I started listening to the entirety of Smash Bros. Ultimate soundtrack uh, by uh, series. So Mario, all of Zelda, all of Donkey Kong, blah blah blah. And uh, a couple days ago I reached the Mega Man portion and there's like 31 songs from Mega Man for someone along those lines. And when I started listening to that all of a sudden the guy who I uh, his name is Zabble, I think, something like that. Uh, he's on YouTube and uh, Mixcloud. He's the one I listened to, the relaxing... Um, uh, various relaxing mixes that I listened to and he all of a sudden had a relaxing Mega Man sound uh, playlist. I was like, oh cool! And then all of a sudden he has two more uh, like regular just mixes from various Mega Man, like Mega Man, Mega Man X, Battle Network, uh, Command Mission, all of them. Uh, and I just listened to that. All of a sudden this goes up. I'm like, oh my god, I'm all about Mega Man right now and it's just timing. All that timing all together. I did not expect this to launch anytime soon. Uh, I kind of stopped following it Every, like, month or so, I'd go on the Twitter just to see if there's a new trailer uh, or an info. And I haven't been on there for a little while, so I didn't realize they were so close to finishing Mega Man 4. So, I'm really happy that I, uh, randomly checked. Uh, well, how did I find out about this? I don't think I was, I was on the thing. I think, uh, probably was one of the sites I, I usually go to just had it on there. Jeez, I'm about to die. I'm going to use any tank because I have so many of them. Why not? Yay! That's what they're for! That's what they're for! Damn you. That's so bad. I really gotta use that thing. Oh, cool! Oh, that looks really neat. Oh, wow. I love that, like, effect. I've always hated these things. Because I always get hit by them. I always do. It doesn't matter. What version of the game, apparently. Oh, my gosh. Always been up. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Jeez, Phil. Oh! There we go. Oh my god. I'm like, am I gonna take another E tank? Actually, I'm just gonna go in and try to just take him out normally. I'm gonna die, but whatever. Come on out, Mr. Dive Man. Do we got it? Yeah, there you go. And make sure I don't get hit, so just keep walking. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ah, there we go. Wow, one hit. He's a rough, rough robot master to fight unarmed. Like, he's really difficult. Uh, b -d -b -d -b -d 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 the D-missile. First the D-crusher, then the D-missile. 
hammer that button. See if I can get him before he goes down into the ground. Nope. Boo. Now my speed run will be suboptimal. Oh, damn. Ah, damn you. There's so much RNG. At least these are actually going to hit him. On the original version, it's very easy for the dinosaurs to, like, miss him or just be bad. I'm still doing quite poorly, by the way. Okay. Oh! Wow! He was, like, gonna run right into me and drill my neck or something. Jeez. It would have killed me, but would have come damn close. All right. Dr. Cossack, I'm coming after you. To Russia with love. I'm like, I'm trying to think of a Russian joke, and I'm like, I'm rushing in to get you. I don't know. You got drill bomb. You know what bombed my jokes? That <laughs> joke's bomb. Phil got joke bomb. Shout out. So shoot out an explosive bomb that can destroy barriers. Press the fire button and detonate it early. A lot of people don't know that. It's how you defeat one of the Dr. Wily um, modes in this version of the game. Or in, in any version. In Mega Man 4. Uh, also got Rush. Yet. Awesome. Adaptor. Love that, like, the DJ scratch there. Stand on the jet to fly. Adjust altitude to slow down with the debug. Oh, right. Whee! You can slow down. Oh, neat. You can speed up? No, you can slow down, but you can speed up. Okay. Save file. Might as well. It's all the Robo Masters. And Dr. Cossack. <laughs> there he is. Like, yeah, look at me. Oh, oh, that looks so good. Wow. Dodge is so cool, man. Ooh, I like the slide in there. That looks really neat. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, so much good work in this game, man. You guys did just awesome. Oh, yeah. And get a secret thing here. And I need to know what it is. Is it knee tank? Yeah, four of them. Is it life? It is an E-Tank. I always kind of wonder what was in here. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. You got the little slinkies. Russian slinkies. Take that. Everyone loves the slinky. Anyone remember the slinky commercials back in the day? Whoa, can I go through that? What is? What was happening there? That was weird. Probably just a weird physics glitch. They did say, they're like, oh, Mega Man 4 is up for download, go get it. Also, please be careful about using, like, the Rush Jet near something. I don't know if exactly what they said. But it was like, they knew that, like, our physics aren't 100,000% perfect. But, I mean, I think, I mean, there's so much work on this. Oh, no. Bad physics for a second? I can deal with it. Look at that. Look at that background. It looks so populated with Russia. Woo! Woo! Oh, 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 careful. Oh, 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 careful. Oof, careful, man. We're doing good, though. You can use um, Rush Jet to just bypass all of this, but... I'm a Mega Man, not a Mega Whip. Eh. Oh, God. <sighs> that was close. Okay, careful. Oh, there's this... Oh, my God. Okay, my bit rate is gonna go so bad. You guys are probably watching this at, like, three frames a second. I'm so sorry, guys. I totally forgot about this part. So we'll get through it fast. So I'm doing very good here. Uh, I'm just gonna do this the other way, or do this. And get onto here. Perfect. Skip that little error, because I don't need to do it. Woo, okay. Let's take out... Is it the moth? No, it's not one. It's, no, it's the moth, isn't it? For root our ring. It's either the ring or the dust crush that I need to use. Jeez, that background. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's so neat. Ooh, new music here. Looks, sounds great. Careful. And easy enough. Very, very easy. Fantastic. And up we go. Continue, and we'll move on to the last level that we'll do today. 
which is, is four levels in Dr. Cossacks, I think? I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, there is. Is there four in Dr. Wallace as well? I do not remember. Oh. Very, very cool looking. Careful. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I fall right back down. Good job, buddy. You hear James stomping around upstairs. It is your bedtime, young man. Uh, we love him, but it takes him a while to get to sleep. He just likes to play in his room. He has a little nightlight that he plays with, basically. He's not afraid of the dark at all. He just likes to play with that. and You know, I don't know. He's a kid. He gets enough sleep, thankfully. He goes to sleep and then you know, doesn't wake up until the morning. He at least doesn't wake up at like 5 or 6 in the morning like he did when he was younger. Like this time last year, I think he was still waking up at like 6. Now, now we have to wake him up half the time. <laughs> or he wakes up at like exactly like 7 to 8 o'clock, which is really fine. I wake up at like... 7.50. I work for 8 o'clock, so I wake up like 10 minutes beforehand. Working from home has those perks. I literally roll out of bed and go to my computer. Just gonna balloon this up. And there we go. Only one balloon needed. Oh, I need another one right here. Careful. I think I also need... No, I, I already did the rush jet point, uh, part. What am I talking about? Jeez, this has been so well done. I'm very impressed. Obviously, this is a free-to-play game. They can't make any money off of this because, you know, when you get down to it, they are remaking and giving away fully licensed, copyrighted video games. So I, you know, I get it. But, like, man, if they have a little bit of, like, a, like a Patreon or some sort of, like, donation thing, I might give a few bucks. Not that I have a lot of money, but, I mean, I, I like the idea of rewarding. I should not take that with a uh, drill. Uh, I want to reward people who put, you know, time and effort into something like this. It makes a bunch of people happy. Yeah, not gonna get you. Wow, that's such a short level. I always forget how short Mega Man levels are when you get down to it. Um, is this the room? Is this the room that moves? Yes, it is. You use Dust Crusher and you use, I think, Ring Boomerang again. I don't know if they share the same, like, weakness properties, because I find a lot of enemies are weak to both of them. Well, the music is really neat. Not music, but like the the, the uh, sound effect. Oh god! Wow, he lasts there a lot longer, making this actually a lot easier than the other version. I was able to get four hits on him, and that's even after he hit me. Usually, you only get three, and if he hits you, you only get two. So this will be very simple. Ah, and I missed, so that's fun. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, that's fine. Just get a nice Mega Buster shot. No, oh, hello. Whee! Damn, I knew I was gonna get there. Oh no! Oh, my hubris! Oh well, I mean that is what it is. Gotta, gotta pad the episode timing somehow. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right, let's do this. For realsies this time. Nope. I love the going with it like this. It's just really cool. Oh, they don't do the weird, like, like, collision glitch that normally happens there. Oh, that wait, that doesn't. Oh, for some reason, I always thought that Room Boomerang was also. You know what? I probably make the same mistake in my original Let's Play. Damn. Oh, there's a little bit of collision glitchery there. Whee! Whee! Go for it. We got this, Mega Man. We got this by the butt. Yes, he got that. Did that count as a hit? It hit it. I don't know if it did damage, though. He might have been still invincible. Nice. Oh, that went well. That went well. Awesome. Well, with that, guys, I'm Fumble Blanks. See you next level. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this episode, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to know when the next episode is up. If you want to support my channel, share some videos with some friends and consider supporting me on Patreon.